welcome back to my channel and today I just wanted to do a small haul video uh, I got a few movies that came in the mail and um, they're mostly DVDs but I'll go ahead and do the things that aren't DVDs first uh, so first up I've got The Guardian on VHS 1990 directed by William Friedkin um, if you have not seen this you need to go watch it like right now um, the body count is like crazy the kills are insane there's like a good like lore behind the story and everything like I don't know, it's just one of those perfect movies that are like highly, highly underrated that I definitely recommend. Um, the next movie, uh, Victor Crowley, uh, Adam Green film. It's like the fifth movie in the franchise. Uh, also, I recommend, I, I got it because it was like really cheap and I didn't have it, so I got it. <laughs> and it's on Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, but um, yeah, I, if you haven't seen the first one, you definitely got to watch the first one, but um, the other sequels... They're hit or miss. They're definitely watchable. The gore is like fantastic and Daniel Harris is in the sequels. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking out the Hatchet movies. Um, the next one, D. Snyder's Strangeland, uh, a 90s movie. Um, pretty badass. It's like metal, like a lot of like heavy metal music and stuff. Uh, definitely, it's definitely 90s, like just like from the vibe and style. It's very like torture-y, BDSM style. Um, very D. Snyder. <laughs> But, yeah, if you haven't seen that one, you gotta watch it. Um, this next one is a classic that I had whenever, like, we had it as a, like, whenever I was a kid on VHS, but, yeah, it's, a uh, Route 666. It's got Lou Diamond Phillips in it. Um, it's about, like, those, like, worker guys. They're, like, ghosts, and, like, they died, like, in a, uh, some, like, cover-up by, like, the, uh, sheriff and stuff. But, yeah, they're just, like, stuck in the road and they're ghosts like kind of in the same fashion as like 13 ghosts like they're the kind that like are like can kill you and stuff and it's definitely it came around and came out around the same time as 13 ghosts like in 2001 um but yeah i definitely recommend that one that, out of all these movies it's probably my favorite um yeah i used to have that one like i don't know it was, it was like five years old last time i seen it and then watching it again it's definitely nostalgic for sure um the next one isn't like Texas Chainsaw, like, spinoff, Leatherface, um, it's okay, it's definitely not the worst Texas Chainsaw movie, um, yeah, it's basically, like, the origin of Leatherface, other than, you know, the Texas Chainsaw at the beginning, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just another movie that they had the rights to the Texas Chainsaw, so they made it, you know, um, <clears throat> the next one, Wes Craven's Summer of Fear. It's got Linda Blair in it. I actually never, ever hear anybody talk about this movie. And it, I don't know why. It's, like, about witches and stuff. And it's definitely, like, classic 70s horror. Like, it builds on, like, um, like being uh, paranoid and all that stuff, you know. Kind of being, like, a teenager and not being able to, like, fit in with your family and not knowing if they like you or not. And then, yeah, it's all great. Like, it, it's all good. It's all good stuff. Um, there's not many, like, kills or anything, but, like, it's definitely more of a, like, a build-up. Not so much psychological, but, like, yeah, more psychological. <laughs> but, yeah, that one's really good. Um, definitely, definitely consider watching that one if you can. The next one is Five Girls. I also used to have this one whenever I was a kid. Um, on DVD, I used to have this one. Um, but I don't, I actually don't know what happened to it. Uh, um, but it's also really good. It's got Ron Perlman in it and, um, Jordan Madley. Uh, she was in American Pie, The Naked Mile. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's not much to say about it. It's about, like, five girls that are, like, in a, uh, Catholic school or something like that. And, like, they're all, like, witchies. Like, like, they have witchy powers. Um, but, I don't know why I said witchy like that. Wit they're all witches. <laughs> but, they yeah, they all have powers and stuff. But, yeah, there's not much else to say about that. You know, it's kind of self-explanatory. There's not much to the plot and stuff, you know. But it's really good. It's fun to watch. Um, and the last one here is Boogeyman, the killer compilation. This was, like, my Bible whenever I was, like, eight or nine years old. Like, I, me and my brother, we studied, like, the fuck out of this. Watching the scenes, you know, looking at the body counts and stuff. You know, just because, like, this was, like, in our minds, like, we didn't have any other, like, source of, like, um, like hall of fames or anything for horror because you know there's that 1990 to 1993 hall of fame that they had but like they ended it real quick and but, like this this was kind of like the horror hall of fame for us like it was yeah it's insane it's got like just a scene from like each of the killers like in there you know Leatherface, freddy Candyman, just kind of everyone 
that was like popular and yeah it's pretty good um but yeah that's my haul um like i said just a few things um but yeah uh thank you for checking it out and uh please like subscribe uh follow me on instagram and uh, check me out on facebook if you want to but yeah and thank you for watching